Hi, everyone. Hi, welcome in. Welcome to our podcast, Let's Get Real with R&L. Woo, woo. <laughs> this is going to be our first podcast. Well, I guess it's going to be our test run because we're going to put this mm-hmm. on a vlog. Right. So I guess from now, you've probably seen the shift in camera quality and audio quality. Mm -hmm. Um, So this is what we're going to be bringing to the table. I need to look at the camera more, right? Yeah, we're doing bigger and better things, what Lucas is trying to say. (laughs) (laughs) So if you don't know who I am, I am Rachel. I'm one of the co-hosts. And I'm Lucas. I'm your other Mm co-host. And in this podcast, we're going to keep it real. We're going to be talking about some really controversial, Mm -hmm. deep things. And we want to open discussion to you guys as well yeah so we're gonna be we're gonna be fielding questions and comments from you guys we're gonna have emails so you guys can comment down below if you want to like tell us your stories and we'll dive into those as well yes and it gotta be juicy okay so here's my slogan i was thinking about this slogan on the way to work Mm -hmm. it's 50 minutes away and i was like what am i going to say (laughs) are you guys ready i'm ready all right so i'm gonna say Welcome to the show. If mm-hmm. I step on your toe, let mm-hmm. me know in the comments below. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about myself and why we decided to start this podcast together. So I am definitely more of the realist. I'm more blunt. I'm more, you know, I don't I don't do like the fairy tale kind of thing. I'm mm-hmm. like, listen. This is how, this is it. This is it. I'm being very objective with everything. Yes, that's very true. Right. Yeah, you're very like level-headed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you said, a realist. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm more of the the hopeless romantic, the, you know, we try to try to maintain or keep your feelings safe yes. kind of a guy. But during this podcast, we're both going to like state our own views. So we both have our own views on a lot of these topics. A lot and, of them. Yeah. And we want to keep it 100%. Right. And this is how me and Lucas actually discuss things in real mm-hmm. life. We're very polar opposite when it comes to opinions. And I love that about us because mm-hmm. we're constantly having some really deep conversations with each other. And I'm like, yo, babe, we need to start doing, we need to do our own <laughs> podcast. Okay. <laughs> yes. So we just want everybody out there to know everybody else is going to have different opinions and, and views from us as well. So we want to keep it respectful in the comments. If you have a different view, you can state your own opinion. But, you know, no fighting. No, Maybe you keep know. it real. We're going to keep it real. But, but you know, but at the same time, you don't got to be cursing people out. See, different opinions. Okay. Already. Like, oh my do what Lord. you got to do in the comments, okay? <laughs> Rachel's like, you can cuss. I'm like, in I'm this, like in you this... guys, please be nice to each other. Please be nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby. On this podcast, mm-hmm. it's going to be juicy. Like, oh I Lord. want the comment section to be juicy. Okay? It's about, it's about to be lit in the comments. It's going to be lit. I'm hoping it's lit, guys. Okay? So... In the podcast, we're going to most likely have a little drink a drink to the side. True. The kids are down. We're going to just be opening up and having a conversation. Vibing. Vibing. Yeah. Some Straight nights, vibing. some nights, if we have like certain emails or comments already, we might, we might answer that independently or we're going to actually try to bring this to live. So to our live audience. Mm-hmm. Um, but we got to figure that software Wait, out. Wait, I thought you wanted to do live. Now you're I, saying probably want to do live. I said sometimes. He changed his mind. I would love to go live. I, we gotta figure it out. All right, let us the know. Software. Let us know. Oh yeah, we do have the Yeah. Okay. So we bought a lot of questions. We Rachel went on Amazon. You know I love Amazon, Amazon. Queen. <laughs> okay, and I went I bought a bunch of questions. So mm-hmm. what we can do is we could draw a question out. Okay. At least one question a day. And then we're gonna answer an email if we have an email or we could just Think of other controversial topics. Are you okay. ready? Yeah. Or if it, yeah, because sometimes it might stem somewhere. You know, you never know where it's gonna go. That's true. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is the question: What's the best piece of advice that you have ever been given? Hmm. Honestly, so I would say this: the best piece of advice I've ever been given is from you. Ooh. Funny enough. Um, and I would say the best piece of advice is never assume. Oh, yeah. That's that, my... Yeah. yeah. That, that is Rachel's number one saying, never assume. And I use that in my daily life in different scenarios. You know, when you go through the drive-thru mm-hmm. at McDonald's. I'm just kidding. We don't eat McDonald's. No. At Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. You, you got to check your bag because you can't assume that they put it in there, even though nope. they said my pleasure. Nope. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but even even little things in the day-to-day life, it's going to save you time. It's going to save you energy. Mm-hmm. And when you just don't assume, you don't have to do things twice. 
And saves you from miscommunication a lot of times. Exactly. Because you're assuming how that person feels, you know? Yep. Yeah. I love it. What about right. you? Are you going to answer the same question or are you a different well, no, question? No, different question. Okay. Let's go. If you could enroll in a PhD program with no tuition fee, what would you study? PhD? Mm. Wow. Um, honestly, I don't. it's not a PhD, but I always said... If I could go back to school, I'll probably be like a nurse nurse practitioner mm-hmm. or I would probably do like a PA. Physician but, assistant. Yeah, nice. physician yeah. assistant. But um, if I had a PhD, probably definitely specializing more in what I do as a speech therapist. I like thoroughly enjoy researching it or mm-hmm. like researching more about like um, gifted kids. Yeah. That's like my jam right now and just getting more information out there because there's not much out there. So That's awesome. So. You're such a cool person. A little bit. You want me to ask a question to you? Sure. What would you do? Uh, what would I do for a PhD? I guess I would, I would probably just go into into physical therapy, like yeah. the PhD in that, so I could research it. That's true. Yeah. All right. You ready for the topic? Yes. I got it. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. So should I be light or should I get, get heavy quickly? Oh, Lord. Let's get heavy. Let's get heavy. So the question is. Mm. Drum are roll. you ready? Drum roll in the comments. Do you believe in falling in love with more than one person at the same time? No. Simple answer. So you feel like you can't? I feel like that's impossible. Really? Right. So, so in a so you're saying like a romantic relationship, correct? Like, yeah. Like not like you love your mom or you love your your kids. Well, you said no, and I'm gonna say yes, <laughs> and you could you could okay, argue your talking point. Go ahead. So what's your talking point? Uh, so my my uh, my opening statement would be, <laughs> if you truly love that person, you would not be able to love another person, because because that is what you don't love them. Obviously, if you're gonna fall in love with someone else, then then how are you gonna be in love with them? Okay, that's true. And can I say something real quick? Go ahead. If I say yes, you can. That doesn't mean I love somebody else on the side other than Lucas, because I love you and only you. Okay, boo? Amen. You like that? I, but I know it's, no. Anything we do here is going to be a hypothetical. Right. Maybe. Unless we start arguing in real life, like on the camera. <laughs> and we can't edit podcasts, so if we start. Uh, but baby, mm-hmm. since we're not going to edit podcasts, can you scoot on over here? Because you were just slowly moving away from me. I'm trying not to be too close to your mic. It's like, do you love me? Look at this. Maybe we should use a bench instead, do you of, love the, instead me? of the seats. True. We'll see. So my is mine is yes. Do you know why? Why? It's because if we can love more than one kid, more than mm-hmm. one parent, more than one friend. Why does that limit us in loving more more than one person mm. when it comes to like relationships? So you're talking about like polygamy, right? That's what there is something out there called polygamous. Mm. I just maybe it, maybe it's because like in my own views, I'm saying like you can't love more than one person because I can't see myself doing that. But like when you give that example. I guess there, yeah. I mean, you do, but is it is it a different kind of love? I mean, so, I don't so, think so. So, like to me, like spousal love or like the way you love this, the love of your life is like the one person you're gonna love for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. Um, versus like kids, friends, and family, it's it's different. So like God loves everybody, right? So mm-hmm. you, you love more than one person. Well, that's a good um, example then, both. Yeah, but but in the Bible does say so you have one a, man and one wife though. Right. So you have a you have a really good point, but I think there's I think it's different kinds of love. You know what I mean? I do. Romantic love is you can only romantically love one person, I believe. You do? Yes. All right, so I I definitely say yes you can have more than one romantic relationship. Okay. I do. I can see it. Like if you're cuz this let me say this. Mm-hmm. And I guess it's kind of hard for us because we fulfill, and this is, oh my gosh, I know there's going to be Christians in there saying like, ah. Right. Like, remember, we're just, I'm just stating, if I step on your toe, let me know in the comments below, right. okay? So the reason why I'm saying that is because not all relationships get fulfilled mm-hmm. in every single aspect. Right. And I'll say that we got really lucky with each other. We mm-hmm. kind of fulfill, I feel like. Yes. I don't know what you think. I do. So I feel like we do a great job with fulfilling like different aspects mm-hmm. of our lives. And I feel like we're really good partners. And like, I don't know, we just fit really well. But not a lot of partners do that. Like right. there's some people who 
you know, fit well emotionally. Some people fit well physically. Some mm-hmm. people fit well financially. Right. You know, so they don't get all their puzzle pieces filled. Okay. And they might find someone who fills those other pieces. And you got to remember, not everyone's used to having the whole puzzle. Mm-hmm. So they're like, okay, I do love that person. Right. But they're filling two halves of the puzzle. You know what I'm saying? Or one half of the right. puzzle. Two halves of the puzzle. One half of the puzzle. And they find someone else that fills the other half of the puzzle. And it's not like they love them differently. They right. love them, they love them the same, but might be for different reasons. Mm. So I think, like, I can, like I, I see what you're saying, and I, I get where you're coming from, and it's a valid point. Your point is valid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you need a, you to let me. <laughs> but... I think I think where this debate becomes heated and where a lot of people are going to have varying views mm-hmm. is because the ideal of love versus like a realistic example where you're saying like someone could fit into different pigeonholes. Mm-hmm. So so I would say the I in, in in the ideal world it's only going to be one person because even if they're lacking in one area or the other um love would be enough kind of like we we talked about this before in one of our lives and that that love should be enough to kind of fill that gap where even if they're lacking, you're like, it's OK I, you, because I love you in all these other areas or, or you're enough for me. Right. Because I truly love you versus like, oh, my gosh, like I'm going to go find love somewhere else because you're not fulfilling one of these needs. Right. So that's like that's the ideal versus like I, I can see what you're saying. So in your way, you're saying because you don't you're not doing that whole hundred percent you know, for, like in fulfilling that section, then you don't really love that person if you find someone else. Is that what you're saying? So wait, say that again. Oh, that was a tongue twister. Yeah, it was. So you're pretty much saying your definition of love is give and take. So if that person isn't get, taking and giving what you take and give mm-hmm. and try to find somewhere else and truly is not love. Is that what you're saying? Right. And all right. So like, and we... You could we could talk about extreme examples of these things where you're like, oh well, what if like you know like if they're absent and like you're gonna find love somewhere else. But what I'm saying is, so let's let's take a small example like in our relationship. Right. So I'm I'm slow, right? In a lot of things, I'm slow, That's and true. and you're impatient. But. So like in that area, you're not going to go find someone that's faster than me and I'm not going to go find someone that's that's more patient than you because I love you truly and, and, and thoroughly. Right. But but it's different, I will say, because we 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 understand each other's mm-hmm. flaws and we we work with each other's flaws. Like right. we know it and we work on it together. If that makes sense versus other people. Mm hmm. Go ahead. Because we love each other. Well, yes, but I'm saying that's a, that's the thing about me and you, though. Yeah. We acknowledge our relationship is different than a typical relationship. Right. Because we not, we not only acknowledge ourselves, though. We acknowledge each other and we give grace to each other. Right. Which so is, now, yeah. sorry, go ahead. No, which is, which is also part of love. Right, but not a lot of people love the way we do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, not a lot of people do a lot of self-reflection. Right. So you wouldn't know... Like, you wouldn't know that you're, like, I wouldn't know, like, oh, I'm being impatient. I would just be like, oh, well, he's just saying that. Mm-hmm. But I already acknowledged to myself, like, okay, this is the one thing that you right. need to work on. Does right. that make sense? It does. And then we're going to give each other grace because we both acknowledge the, the flaws that we have. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense? And so we work with our flaws. Right. Versus, like, a normal relationship, they're probably not even realizing, like, the things that are lacking in. Right. So they're, when they find somebody else not even probably purposely it could be like jogging in the park mm. and the person smiled at them and they're like wow my partner never smiles at me mm-hmm. like that's really nice that was a good smile and the guy talked to them oh wow he never right. conversates with me mm-hmm. there's partners that don't talk to their spouse right so when somebody else is talking to them they're not thinking like oh yeah i'm gonna go with him because he's talking it just probably naturally just falls into a rhythm of love mm-hmm. and so they're like you know which is probably shouldn't be talking to another person, but you get what I'm trying to say. Right. And so it falls into like, whoa, like what is this feeling? And it's, it's love, but it's love through communication and other like avenues of love, other puzzles of love. Mm -hmm. And their partner probably does really well with financially supporting like um, materials, you know what I'm trying to say versus like the other side. Right. So then, so in, in my like rebuttal to your argument would be that, I feel like so if you look at like like say your your love for for someone is like a whole, then that means 
you're you're not fully loving that person anymore and you're splitting your love even if it's 90 even if the, it's 90 10 now you're like giving that other person 10 percent of that like full love right like in, like in an ideal situation so that's a but you still love that person because they like okay let's let me mm-hmm. just give you an example let's say your partner was a doctor right mm-hmm. and that they were an emergency we call it an er doctor yeah and they're always gone, you know? Okay. And you, I mean, your love language is materials mm-hmm. and, um, yeah, materials, right? right? Yeah. And your other love language is quality time. Right. But they can't give you both. They can't give you both, right? Right. And so the doctor is, like, really, like, supplying that need of material. Mm-hmm. So you feel extremely loved. Right. Because he's showering you with right. that, you know, what was it called? I forgot. Gifts. Gifts. So he's showering, she's showering you with all these gifts, and you you really do feel love because that's right. one of your other love languages. Mm. And then here comes Janitor Joe, right? You know, with all the quality time, with all the quality time, you know. Mm-hmm. And then you're hanging out with Janitor Joe. Well, they're doctors at work. I shower <laughs> you with gifts. Not, but like I can. Comp- you know what I mean? Though. No, yeah. And you're you're thinking of stuff on the spot, like situations. But but it's true that does happen in real life. It happens a lot yeah. in real life. And but the thing is, like, do do they? Does she love both of them? Right. I, I'm sure she really does love both of them. Is it right? Yeah. Is it right? No. No. But does she love the both of them? I I still say no. <laughs> I, I I love where you're going with this and I could see I could see where you would think that. But I'm gonna say at the end of the day, one of those relationships is gonna end up failing because the love is gonna be lacking. So she's either gonna get tired of the gifts and not really care about the person more because Joe is taking over the rest of her heart with all the quality time she's getting. Or vice versa, she's like, well, I, c- I can't leave my doctor husband because I want to live this standard of life. So one of them is going to have to give eventually. Exactly. And this is not saying that either relationship would be successful mm-hmm. because she probably needs to find someone that completes her whole. Yeah. But then she probably just had her glass shattered to the mm-hmm. fact that, whoa, I actually want more than right. what's being provided to me. Mm-hmm. So... But she probably does love both of them. Wait, what was that noise? I didn't understand that. Sorry. Why is she talking? Okay. Um, so, all right. So that's where I think where the bypass comes in. And this is, it's funny because we literally said this in the beginning of the podcast. You're a realist. Yeah, I am. And I'm more of the idealist. Yes, you are. Because you're talking about, you know, you're being realistic in situations. And I'm going to go back to the ideal that... If it's true love, you're going to be with that person forever. So if she truly loved the doctor, she would tell him like, hey, I'm, I'm drifting from you because you're not giving me that quality time. Maybe you need to take nights and weekends off or you need to take some, some way that we can get some quality time together. Right. If you really love that person and that's where communication comes in. So that might be a different topic we could talk about. A whole different topic. Yeah. Because communication is very mm-hmm. important. Yeah. But um, yeah, let us know what you guys think yeah. if you're we'll say team Rachel or team Lucas on mm-hmm. this matter. And I want you to explain, you know, your reasoning behind it. Yeah. And if you agree with us. Yeah. Or you could be team yourself and you have, you just don't believe or you agree with either of us. You're like, right? y'all, are, like, you both are y'all are both off the rocker. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, but. yeah. So this is just a quick test run of mm-hmm. our podcast. That was fun. That was really fun. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I cannot wait to start getting into like, like we kind of like made up some stories there, but like right. I can't wait until you guys start sending us like your guys is like he was cheating on me and this yes. and that. And like we're like we try to break that apart because that's yeah, when it's gonna be get fun. real intense. <laughs> and if yeah, yeah, it's gonna get intense. So and if you have an intense story, yes, mm-hmm. please, please email us at let's get real. Did you get an email yet? I have an email. Yeah, let me let me pull up the we email. Do? Okay, Luke's gonna pull up the email. All right, and what else are we gonna say? Is- and because this is going to be on our Arna Live channel, don't forget to head over to our new YouTube channel for the podcast. Yes, we have to separate it because YouTube analytics get a little funks. And we mm-hmm. want all of our podcast stuff to be in one area. But it's going to be Let's Get Real with R&L podcast. Uh, oh, yeah. And I have our, all right, so our email, I'll put it in the description. It's Rachel and Lucas podcast at gmail.com. Oh, nice. Yeah. Sorry, say it again. I was like talking. Sorry. No, it's okay. So our, our Gmail account is Rachel and Lucas Podcast mm-hmm. at gmail.com. And it's spelled the name the way your name is. So we'll have yeah. to put it uh, on the screen. So I'll have to put it on the screen. I'll put it in the comments so you yeah. guys can see it. 
Rachel, R-A-C-H-A-E-L. So make sure you get that A in there or Mm -hmm. someone else is going to be getting your crazy emails. (laughs) Okay, so that is it for this first Mock Run podcast. Yeah, I I actually really enjoyed that. That was super fun. Um, If you guys have any, you know, anything that you would do differently, if you guys, you know, it's too bright, it's too loud, too quiet, let us know so we can, you know, it's our first time running the equipment. So let us know. Yeah. Thanks, guys. All right. We love you. Bye, guys. Bye.